Duncan Ada Music. What's up, gems? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another L. Alright, y'all. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video, okay? If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't know, we we just have a good time here. We be ourselves, we laugh, and we just, you know, good vibes. In order to get those good vibes, we do, we do a couple of things here. Um, I already have my candle lit, unfortunately. Um, the confidence candle gems, we burnt that thing to the bottom, okay? So what I did was, since my wicks in one of my Bath & Body Works candle is completely demolished, I just broke up what was left of the candle and put it inside of there just so that it would fit. Or, um, I just took the, um what was left from that candle and I placed it into this smaller one so that it will look nice in my area. And also, y'all already know we are coming with the sage. We have to sage before we jump into the video because we have to have those good vibes. Um, mm. I would open the window, but you see the way this um, weather is set up. It's cold as hell. So, these vibes going to have to go to the left this time instead of to the right. But it's okay. They got to go. Um, So, today, I'm just feeling, you know, I'm feeling some hippie vibes. I'm just, after the last video, trust me, if you've seen the last video, we need some hippie vibes up in here. So, I got my Hippie Seasons uh, Smudge Wand Stick. This is the one with the crystal. If you watched my video, like, um, uh, what was it? I can't even remember. Um, but I think I talked about this one that had the crystal in it. Right now, I need those vibes. So, we're going to go ahead and sage our space. Sage all of you that are watching because if you click off, that means you didn't have good vibes. I mean, that's all there is to it. So, um, yeah, we're just going to cleanse our space. And I really just want to say to the right, to the right. But we're not opening up that window anytime soon because, no, it is too cold. So, like I said, we're just cleansing our space, just getting those good vibes started. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into this video. And we're going to hop right into this video if I don't try to set us on fire first okay there. girl do you not okay hold on cause the vibes must not be right if this mug is still lit he went out I don't know what, what kind of vibes y'all trying to bring over here baby that's exactly why we sage because we're not trying to have none of that smoke okay so um we're gonna go ahead and get into this look i have some ideas brewing and i really hope this comes out the way that i have envisioned it um i actually made face charts for this look if you've seen any of the looks that i have done it's been a really long time since I have done a face chart. So, um, here is my sketch. The first one. And I bet you're like, bitch, what the fuck is this? I kind of just wrote my ideas down at first. And then, um, I went over, um, with my concept. With crayon and just what I was thinking and just some ideas and everything like that so I'm super super excited um I'm hoping this look turns out really really nice so I want to pull out a couple of my things first as far as like my eye brushes because I already know I'm going to be working with a very small space 
Also, I am going to be showing you guys a trick with your makeup brush. So first, we need to find a concealer brush. So um, since this one, I would rather have a curved one instead is this the beauty shop it is so let's go ahead and use the beauty shop brush okay so before we pick out our brushes first thing that i want to do is um oh why y'all didn't tell me my elbows was ashy first of all okay y'all out of fucking line one gonna tell me my goddamn elbows was ashy see that's them vibes. Okay? That's them vibes I was talking about. I said good vibes. Not ashy vibes. Good thing for shea moisture. You can use it on anything. I mean, shea butter. Not shea moisture. Damn, I didn't mean shea moisture. I meant shea butter. That's them crackhead vibes I be telling y'all about that I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, okay, so we're going to be taking this Beauty Shop Cosmetics um, Double Zero Brush. And this is basically a concealer brush. And it's pretty flat. Let me, there we go. Okay, focus. Yo, I ain't never, ever, ever, ha, gotta focus like that. Okay leveling up see see that's all we say over here um anyways crackhead vibe sorry um what we're gonna do with this brush we are going to take excuse mine it's dirty whatever we're going to take this duo glue right here and if i can get it open my hands are greasy we're going to just put this all over the brush and in the brush. The bristles and all. You want to cover your brush, okay? Okay. So once that is done, once your brush is completely covered in the eyelash glue, then you want to just press that brush together. So, that is what I have done with... Oh. See, that's what I be talking about. So it's still the same. I just have pressed those bristles, oh, those bristles together so that I could have a flat, neat surface. Okay, so I'm going to leave it alone, let it dry for a second, and we will come back to it. Okay, so I am going to pick out a couple of brushes. And I want small brushes. So my goal is to try and use all of these brushes. Now, the first one is going to be the M506. We also have the M507. We have the M503. We also have the um, I don't even know because there's no number on it. Oh, can y'all see that? There we go. There we go. We also have the M456, which looks like that. We have the M, I don't even know, because it has no number on it, and it looks like that. We have the E. 17 which looks like this and then we have the e 36 which looks like that 
okay so those are the brushes that i will be using on my eye all right y'all let's so let's go ahead let's go ahead and jump right into this video we've already been at this long enough so we're going to um do a couple of things to our face your uh base is very very important your skin care your skin care is the most important thing when it comes to makeup like skin care is very important trying to cover up all those blemishes and stuff like that yes that can be done but if you take care of your skin before you apply your makeup or just every if you take care of your skin every day then you won't have a problem with your makeup your makeup will be flawless without you having to apply so much to hide those areas so what I like to use is a couple of things. Um, depending on if you are oily, make sure that you use something that is moisturizing. Moisturizing. If you are, I mean, if you're oily, you want to use something that is oil free If you are dry, you want to use something that is very moisturizing. So, what I use is a couple of things because as you can already see, I have these bags. Um, so, I definitely treat those. So, I have this, um, I have this Skin Nutrients New York H Defy Dry Circles in Puffiness Serum. And it looks like this. And when you open it. It has a ball on it. So you can put this in the refrigerator and the metal of the ball against the eye feels so good. So I like to take this and add it here because this is where I mostly have all my puffiness. I have a little bit of dark circle but not a lot. And I'll just poke myself in the eye. I might be out. Oh, I'm not out. Okay. So once I do that, I want to go ahead and... Oh, okay. So it came out on one side, but not the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Drunk Elephant Tea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. And y'all, it's dirty, but whatever. Can It doesn't want to focus. It don't want to focus. It said it's too dirty. So it looks like that. And I take this and apply it to my full eye area. Now that my eyes are taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the rest of my face. And I am going to go in with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. Now this one is hydrating. Um, so I am going to be using this right here. Now I am oily, but I like how thin this is and it doesn't make me too oily. And I'm not oily enough to where I need a mattifying uh, foundation or primer. guys so we're gonna go ahead if you already know this is my holy girl the ulta beauty slim brow this listen this my baby right here so we're gonna go ahead and use the end of that pencil and brush our brows upwards God damn. i'm 
talk tomorrow. Yeah, she texted me and said we were closed. Now, if you have watched my lives or just watched one of my makeup videos in general, y'all probably like, bitch, what makeup tutorial? No, I'm just playing. Um, since I have been getting better at my brows, I do not care how they look when I fill them in because I clean them up anyway. A lot of people call that like the halo brow or they try to do like a natural brow without trying to use concealer and things like that. Honey, I ain't equipped like that. My eyebrows are neighbors. They're not related. They're they're not even in the same family tree, okay? They actually live down the street from each other and a little bit around the corner neighbors. That's how that's how far apart they are. Okay, so um, I can't just go in and just draw my brow and it just look good and I don't have to use concealer. So, um, I am going to go ahead and just fill these babies in just a little bit with my pencil. And then if you already know me, or if you don't, I'm going to tell you guys anyway, that I also use a cream. Now, Babe kind of sort of may have said that this look a little dry, and it may be dry, but it still works for me. And until it completely dries out, I'm going to use it. And again, the label is gone. So if you know, you know, this is the Beauty Shop Cosmetics in the color Ebony. This is her brow cream, and I need some more. But baby girl, it's a little expensive and out of my pockets, okay? I ain't, I ain't on the level of her products yet, okay? We still small fish over here. So, what I like to do is I just like to use this in the back because I got the wrong color and you can't do exchanges with them. No refunds, no nothing. So, I just got to make you do what you do. I'm going to make you do what you do, baby. And I just use it in the back. Mostly, and then I take the spoolie and I just drag and pick up and bring it to the front. That way it'll give me a faded effect and it won't be so harsh. See what I mean? So, I know it don't look the best now, but we're still going to go in and clean it up. So, just trust the process. This one's a little thick, but we're going to clean this baby up anyway. I kind of went too far up with the pencil, so. Alright, so our brush looks okay after a little bit of cleaning. It's not the best, but it'll do. Okay, so I'm going to take... A little bit of this elf 16 hour camo concealer let me bring back some can I bring it back or do I need to whatever y'all know my product shots are never the best still working on it anyways that's the color tan latte and we're just going to cover both sides of the brush and we're just going to go ahead and clean up.
guys so before we get this started let's go ahead and open up these new brushes if you don't know these brushes are new because not because i just went to go buy them i have a life glam subscription if you don't know what live glam is that means you are new here because i talk about it all the time live glam is a morphe and me subscription where you get morphe brushes for $19.99 a month and you can get anywhere between three to six brushes a month and it doesn't matter if you get three brushes because each brush is going to be at least worth anywhere between six to twenty dollars the bigger brushes are worth more. If you know Morphe, you already know the big faced brushes are worth a lot more money. So, um, I love Life Glam. It's the only brush subscription that I have. I really don't have to buy brushes because of Morphe. So, my complete brush collection is 95% Morphe. So, um, the palettes that we will be using today will be the 35-3 more i mean the palettes that we're going to be using today is going to be the morphe 35b palette with lisa frank and the cover looks like this this is the one that i chose they do have two other i think one has like a um polar bear or something on it and the other one has like a fox or something i can't really remember um but you open it up and it looks like this and it has a mirror on it. The other palette that we are going to be using is the LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. And this baby is so beautiful. She looks like that. Isn't she beautiful? I cannot wait. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M503 brush. Fallout girl. She got a lot of fallout. Absorbent green, which is this green right here. We're going to go in with the M506.
Okay, so now that I have my eye um, all completed, I do want to talk to you guys about your brush sizes. Now, you will notice that when I picked out all my brushes, they were all different shapes and sizes. Um, so, here are the three that I've used so far, and then here are the three that I will be using going forward. So, here are the three that I will be using going forward, and then what I used so far. So, let's go into the ones that I've used so far. Okay, so, you will see that literally all three of them are different sizes and shapes. So, let's talk about it. The first brush that I used is the Morphe m503 now i use this brush to go up into here because it is bigger i also used it to blend out all those colors together at the very top i use this brush because it is a lot bigger and i have more space to work with okay the next brush that i went into is the m506 and I use that brush because now we're going lower and we want to target a circle, a certain spot right up under where we place that first color. So because we're going under and we need less space, we're going to be using a smaller brush, okay? The next brush, of course, you guessed it, is smaller than the one before. And this one is a E36. Now this brush, I went... And, of course, smaller, smaller area, and that's where I took it to go into here, okay? The next brush is the more slender M507, and this brush we use to come here, and you see how that taper part gave me a pointed end, and I could also go here. That is how I was able to get those colors in certain spots and give myself a tr transitional um, or gradient effect. So again, in order, those brushes look like this. Okay, so size in your brushes do matter. Please remember that. If you have smaller lids, then you will not need a brush this big. We're going to be going into Shuffle from the LA Color, which is this one down here, and it's a glitter. So you can't really, it's not showing up on camera, but it's like a shimmer pigment. It's not a glitter, it's a shim, shimmer pigment. And we're just going to take this and place it on the lid. Now, I'm not wanting the color payoff so much. Let me turn my light down some so you guys can actually see. Oh, I didn't mean off. Maybe if I'm actually in the camera, <laughs> you guys can see.
Okay, so I'm putting this on my lips because we're going to be um, applying color. going to do first is go in with this Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in Dark Cool and it looks like that. You already know my product shot suck. It is what it is. forehead needs a lot so I don't really use a lot To this NYX highlight and contour palette looks like this looks really dirty we're going to go into the dark colors you can see that's me I'm almost hitting pan and I'm going to do my chin
we're going to go ahead and jump into my favorite part. Okay, so we're going to be using the um, some latex, liquid latex. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to be using some latex today. And basically, all we're doing is just coating some money. Right, guys so we got all of our money on now we're going to go into the main stage palette and the morphe well no just the main stage actually because we only want green and black okay 
So I'm going to go into the black and I am going to go around the blue. Like ash. guys so we're gonna go ahead and add some glitter we're going to go ahead and move on to lashes i am going to be using the maybelline last sensational mascara
ahead and um try to get my hair together. Guys, we are all done. I am like so excited for this look. Like it came out amazing. Okay. Um, I still have to do my video, but as you see, I am in Clubhouse. Um, so, um, yeah, I need to record, but because I'm in this room, I can't right now. So I'm probably gonna leave the room. I'm sorry guys. So this is the look all done. It came out amazing. I love it. I cannot wait for you guys to see the pictures. Actually, you guys will see this look before um you will probably see this video. So I'm I'm trying to work it out. I'm excited. Doesn't it look amazing? I think I might add the other clip in here as far as like the um, actual video with the song. It's going to take me a minute. So we might do some behind the scenes of the video. We'll see. Um, so let me finish this room and then maybe we'll come back and um, do a video. Oh, battery is about to die. Oh my goodness, hold on. Oh. Alright guys, so I'm trying to record this video to KK's song. And y'all know, I gotta uh, read the lyrics to make sure I know it. I know it, but she raps so fast because she has like this alter ego. And so, listen. Just be about to get some money, motherfucker. But this money make me cream. The ramen noodles by the pack. Now I eat a lot of dinner each time I need a snack. That's a motherfucking motto. Counting Jackson Press and Franklin like I won the fucking lotto. Counting Jackson. Count Jackson Grant. And Franklin's like I won a fucking lotto. Counting Jackson Grants. Counting Jackson Grants and Franklin's like I won the fucking lotto. Counting Jackson Grants and Franklin's like I won the fucking lotto. Count Jackson Grants and Franklin's like I won the fucking lotto. I gotta get this shit right, fam. Shit. You sell a cat for forty dollars, bitch. You need a fucking bag. The only thing that make me holler, coming through the fucking dreams. But this money make me cream.